when people turn into inhuman creatures. When the soul of the Ukrainian land is being ravaged and terrible harvests are gathered from the fields. When coal mines are mined, flooded and polluted. When forests are burned and destroyed, the crime has a name. Its name is Ecocide. Since the first day of the full-scale war, two and a half thousand crimes against the environment have been documented. The total damage has exceeded 54 billion euros. More than a third of Europe's biodiversity is under threat. Unique species of animals and plants may disappear forever. The attack on the Kahoka hydroelectric power station is the largest act of ecocide in recent decades. The amount of water we lost as a result of that would be enough to provide a two-day supply for the entire humanity. Russian troops occupied the Chernobyl nuclear power plant for more than a month, and the Russians still controlled the largest NPP in Europe, the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, blackmailing the world with a nuclear winter. So the world can no longer stand by while nature remains a silent hostage and collateral damage of armed aggression. Volodymyr Zelensky's peace formula is intended to become a practical action plan and a guarantee of lasting peace. Peace that cannot exist without restoring justice and environmental safety. The Ministry of Environmental Protection of Ukraine has developed seven unique methods for calculating the damage caused. The Prosecutor General's Office is documenting war crimes against the environment. Criminal proceedings on ecocide have already been opened. A mechanism for compensation is being developed. Russia's terrible crime must be punished. The perpetrators must be held to account for the sake of future generations, for the sake of justice, for the sake of the environment. United for justice, united for nature.